There has been one thing that I can truly say that has helped me improve my portrait photography within the past year. Now, many of you guys are probably thinking, it has to be the lens, it has to be the lighting, the camera. No, wait, it has to be the post-processing. It's the color grading that's really making the work stand out. And trust me, guys, if you put more effort into this, your work will greatly improve. Now, this isn't the most sexy topic to talk about because we all have gas as photographers, the gear acquisition syndrome. And, you know, gear being announced every other week, we're always wanting to buy more and more stuff. But if we analyze these two photos with Danya and Betsy, there was one thing I did different with these photos. Now, once again, you might be looking at them and say, you know what, it's the post-processing, it's the light, you know, the power output or the lens and the body and so forth. But what really made these photos go from good to great was this one thing that I did with my friend Marco, and that was that we stylized both of these photo shoots. Now, if you're not stylizing your photo shoots, you're really putting yourself at a disadvantage because you really can still produce good work. No puedes la cague. The point I was trying to get across here is that you put yourself at a disadvantage when you don't stylize your photo shoots. Now, of course, you could still get great photos if you don't style, but stylizing your photo shoots is gonna give you a lot more creative options and it's gonna help you take your work from being from good to great. Now, let's go ahead and continue. Because if we look at the photo from Betsy, you know, the photo really isn't anything special as far as like lighting and posing standpoint. You know, it's not a pose, it's out of the ordinary, the lighting, it's nothing you've never seen before, but what really makes the image pop and really kind of gelled and stand out, and it's probably the first thing that you notice when you see the image, is that orange color scheme that we went with for that photo shoot. Now, let me be clear, obviously you still need good post-processing, you still need good lighting to kind of make everything come together, but imagine for a moment if Betsy, if I had just told her, you know what, just show up with some blue jean shorts and just a regular t-shirt, would I have got a good image? Probably, yeah, I would have got a good image. But the key thing is, and the main reason I made this video is that if you wanna do great work and you wanna to wanna to take your stuff to the next level, it's gonna be that effort into stylizing your photo shoots. So I'm gonna give you a couple of tips so that you can start stylizing your photo shoots. One quick tip that you can do in order to help you stylize your photo shoots is to reach out to local businesses. Now, if you remember my first YouTube video, I mentioned that I went to the designer zoo to get the outfit for Joanna, and I've reached out to multiple clothing stores in my area from Fashion House, the Glass House, the Shop 112, the Style Union, and the Designer Zoo. If you don't have any local clothing outlet stores in your area that are willing to collaborate, you can always go stylize a photo shoot yourself by going shopping like me and Marco did. Now, of course, this is gonna be a little bit more difficult because you're gonna have to pay out of pocket and you're gonna have to budget for it. But it's something that I believe, once again, that will help you take your work to the next level. Now, let me know in the comments, do you guys currently stylize your photo shoots or is it something you've been neglecting? Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe because I am working on the highly requested behind the scenes video and color grading of the photo shoot that I did with Danya and you don't want to miss it because you know what's up. I'm going to cover todo el pedo. Muchas gracias guys and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Businesses that are willing to co collaborate with you. But um, you are trying out the best. I'm trying on these over here. This is the panty section over here. I'm going to be trying out those in a little bit. My mom is the only one that follows me. Ha, ha, ha.